is it possible to convert arid land into fertile soil? That was one of the main reasons why Desert Control invented liquid nano clay, LNC in short. Through a patented process, LNC combines clay and water into a compound. The mix is then spread onto sandy soil and enables the soil to retain water, turning desert into fertile soil. The compound is applied with sprinklers to spread irrigation water across the affected land. The water creates a 40 to 60 centimeter deep layer, which retains the water like a sponge. This method saves water and increases yields. Cultivating sandy soil into fertile land normally takes from 7 to 15 years. Desert Controls LNC accomplishes that in just 7 hours. One application of LNC could last a minimum of 5 years. Production of LNC happens on site using only natural components. Customers will save between one-half to two-thirds of the water they are currently using to irrigate land for food and bio crops. If liquid nano clay were used in just one percent of the targetable arid land to reforest, the uptake would be 26 million tons of CO2 per year. Based in Stavanger, Norway, Desert Control is a clean tech company that specializes in turning deserts to green land using their patented liquid nano clay. They are currently showcasing applications in Saudi Arabia and Dubai. If we look at the consensus of the climate reports today, it has one conclusion, we are in trouble. However, game-changing technology has true history taking us into new avenues where better possibilities exist. So we tested it. As you can see, there is, there is a slight difference. We got ridiculous results. We had an increase of 416% what they could manage to get out of their soil when we applied liquid nanoclay to the ground and then fertilized it. So this is what we started with, uh, where we were using liquid nanoclay, just watering it on. We uh, had fertilizers and we had seeds planted. And then I returned a year later and we had wheat fields, we had trees five meter high. I believe we're standing on the brink of a new age, an age of bio, where we'll have unlimited amount of food, water, and power. And on a local level, we will produce a lot of uh, work. On a global level, we will be reducing the CO2 because this is a carbon negative process. You plant, you use some of those plants for energy, for food, and whatever, and then you plant some more and thus we can expand. Instead of saving, we can now expand, build more, and fix the environment at the same time, and we'll have a lot of jobs and a lot of energy. I believe this is the age that is coming, is the age of bio. And I'm hoping that we can build this future together.